the company's initiatives. And if I could welcome up, um, our recipient is Eddie Ab Adamar, and our, um, I think our friend Marty is gonna present the award. I met Eddie last year at our annual State of the City address. And we talked about politics and family, and of course it comes around to what do you do. And he told me a story, and I want him to tell it when it's his turn because I was really touched by it. So I put out to our employees, we're having this, to think about people to nominate, and somebody said, my niece spent some time at Eddie's company when she was having a hard time, and he really helped her out. I said, yeah. I said, nominate. So we did. <laughs> I went to Eddie's website to get a little blurb about him, and there's nothing there about his story. I said, Eddie, you need to put your story up there. It's worthwhile reading for everybody. So I don't want to talk anymore. I want Eddie to share her story, because he tells it so much better than I. <laughs> Come on up, Eddie. You know, there are three pillars in my life, my, my relationship with my Heavenly Father, my beautiful wife, and my wonderful parents, and I'm very thankful to all of them, and uh, I'm here essentially because of them. And uh, the story goes back many years ago. I was 10 years old, and I first came to the U.S., and I went to Disneyland, and I made up my mind that I was going to be an American. <laughs> I said, this is how Americans live, this is what I want to be. And for the next six years, that's all I did, I studied the pilgrims, I studied the... Uh, I mean, everything you can think of. I mean, I aced American history on the first day at San Jose State when I came here. You know, just, I mean, I knew it all. Because I had a very, I'm going to speak to you as a businessman. I had a very focused, I was going to come to the U.S., I was going to make a lot of money, and I was going to be a blessing to the local community. Yeah, that was my mindset, you know, and that's how it was. Go to America, make money, help people. That was, that was like a little mantra. And uh, so, uh, anyway, so that, that, that's kind of a, a background. So 17, I came to the U.S., San Jose State and uh, had a great four years over there. Compressed a four-year degree in five years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, got a job, and then I decided that uh, free enterprise is what I needed to be part of. And uh, you know, the American dream, all about owning your own business and being successful and working hard and not getting a handout, but just working hard and making it happen. I've always been inspired by people by like Richard Valle and all these stories you hear of people started with nothing and then made big, uh, you know, made them, became big just through sheer hard work. And uh, so I started my own business in college, paid for my fees, that was good. And uh, two businesses in college, one failed, one succeeded, that happens. <laughs> and uh, then graduated, got a job and stayed there for a few years and then started my own business again and sold the company a couple of years later. And uh, that was exciting. Arnold Schwarzenegger became governor, and I decided he said that California is going to go green. And I said, it's a good idea, me too. You know, I'm going to go green too. And uh, and uh, I have a history here. You know, when I was uh, helping my parents, my aunt and uncle in San Ramon move their home, this is when I was in college, they had this big, massive computer. Remember those AS400s? You know, you know big the mainframes, yeah, okay. So they took this big mainframe and they dumped it in the landfill. I was shocked. I was like, are you serious? You're going to do that? And that's when the computer revolution was taken off. And everybody was buying computers. And I'm thinking, all oh, these millions of computers are going to go in the landfill? I said, no, that's not going to happen. So, uh, so segue over here. Um, I'm a Union City guy. I, and I'm so, I go back to the drive-in movie theater here. Remember drive-in? I dated my beautiful wife for three years and watched a lot of free movies at the drive-in movie theater. <laughs> Before Union Landing, so uh, anyway, and then we got dated. A lot of places around here we used to socialize up on the hills in Union City. We had a great time. Great time. Okay. So, too much information. There. Anyway, so, so then and then uh, let's see. We um, so we launched. Uh, we moved in here uh, right off Royal Land across the police station, our first place here uh, on Alvarado Niles. Moved to three different homes over there. You know, as money began to come in, and uh, started our recycling business in our garage. Hey, garage. City did not know about it. <laughs> okay, in our little garage. Then the neighbors got really upset. Homeowner association got upset. Then we moved into the Alvarado Niles uh, storage. You know storage right there? Okay. Moved into small little storage. Then we moved to storage. Then three storage locations. And then this is going good. And then we moved into on Western Avenue to a thousand square foot place. Then 1500 square feet. Then we moved on Croatian Way to 2500 square feet. Then we moved, came back to Western, 6000 square feet. 
And then so I kept going, you know, then got my permits, everything else, because I was getting too big over here. And uh, so, and, and I met Avalon, she's here, and uh, so she's the one who made it happen for me, thank you. She's like, Eddie, you gotta get all legal and legit here. I said, okay, I'll make that happen. And you know, I, I love the city, in the city. I got everything for me, significant in my life has happened right here. And uh, today we have a beautiful 13,000 square foot place on Central Avenue. We have a 2,500 square foot place in Milpitas, and then we share an 80,000 square foot place in Hayward. So uh, we're opening up in Dublin, we're opening up in Rose. We're having a lot of fun with this. And uh, I enjoy doing what I'm doing. Uh, my parents taught me many years ago that whatever you do, make sure you glorify God and help your local community. If that is the mindset, then blessings are drawn to you. And that's always happened. That's always been my mindset. You know. When I do something, am I making him proud? And am I helping the local community? And if I'm doing that, blessings have always come, and they've come multifold, and it's been, it's been really wonderful. I have four beautiful boys, handsome boys, amazing wife, and uh, no complaints, no complaints at all. We launched our business with a very simple premise, to be a blessing to the local community. All our employees, people who work there, generally came from a, a drug rehab place, like Kura down in Fremont, or, so, or, or the local, Alameda County um, um, what is that, Association where they have folks who have been out of jobs for two, three years because of disabilities or whatever, and we get them in. We've gone through over 150 employees over the past seven, eight years. They come work with us for a few years and they go work somewhere else. That's fine. That's fine. The whole idea is to kind of rehabilitate. And uh, I enjoy being a blessing. Because in the end of the day, it's money in the bank and how many people's hearts out there you're touched, right? I mean, you've got to be, I'm a businessman. I've got to make create income. At the same time, you immortalize yourselves in people's hearts and minds. So uh, that was very important for me, and uh, we have we have a we, I've never had to sign a contract with anybody, you know. And I've had to have a recycling relationship with Richard Valle and Barbara. I've never had to sign a contract that I'll do this. It's always been a very handshake relationship, you know. Wherever, and I've never lost anybody because they know I'm very sincere and very straightforward, because the mindset has always been right. So um, business is doing very well. We are very excited about growth and uh, recycling is big. Please do recycle your electronics. You know, it's, it's so, so important to keep this country green. I look at my four boys. We live, we live in Castro Valley now, although we have, we have four homes in Union City, okay? But we don't live here anymore. Move to Castro Valley because four boys, I needed more space. And I just keep telling the local planning, I said the local small hills, make them luxury homes so we can move back to Union City, you know? But we'll see what happens over there. Um, so anyway, uh, but we, we, we are extremely thankful. I think I want to summarize with this. As a businessman, you know, the American dream is totally alive. And it's simply a matter of not letting the media mess it up in your head. You know, I totally believe in the American dream. I believe in American exceptionalism. I believe in American pride. I have the American flag flying in my home. My kids are proud Americans. We, are, we have a proud Indian heritage, but we are proud Americans. You know, we're not confused. There's no two flags in our house. There's only one flag in our home. And we're very proud of that. I want to raise my kids in a manner that glorifies this country in a big way. You know, when I see a policeman walk by, my kids always go up there and say thank you. Because I, I feel a sense of pride, a sense of submission, a sense of gratitude. Intense gratitude, you know, that I need to give back for what I've been given. So, biz, as a business owner's perspective, it works so long as your mindset is right. And never stop dreaming, never stop working hard, and make sure the cause is right. So, thank you all for hearing me out. Thank you.